When we're identifying cost centers, knowing that these unaccounted costs exist uh, allows companies to set up a game plan to absorb those costs into money-making areas of their company. Now let's identify ways in which a company can maintain profitability. In simple terms, a company will be profitable if it brings in more money than it pays out. The formula is credits minus debits equals a balance. And if the balance is a positive number, they have a profit. And if the balance is negative, they have lost money. When I was in college, it was really confusing for me to understand the difference between credits and debits. So think about your checking account. If you put money into it, it's a credit. It's a positive number. If you take money out, it's a debit. So if a credit is my salary, every time I get paid, my paycheck gets deposited, and I put a credit in my account. So I go from $0 in my account to $10,000 when I get my paycheck. And then if I go to Starbucks and I buy a coffee, it's debited from my account. If I pay my rent, I write a check, it comes out of my, my checking account, it's a debit. Your homework this week, um, you have one homework, one quiz, and then you have a second project that's called a quiz. So your homework and your quiz are questions exactly like what we're going to go through right now. So make sure that you're comfortable with this four-step process, and then you can move on to the homework. So, a printing company generates $240,000 per year in revenue from its printing jobs. 10% of all printing sales go to the salesman, and the rest is used to cover daily operating costs, which are cost center costs. Will this company be profitable if their monthly operating costs are $19,400? So if you'd like to break this down into a four-step process, the step one for this type of problem will be to identify all credits. And the credits in this case would be the yearly revenue. So when you're reading the problems, make sure that if it says $240,000 per year, you just write $240,000. If it says $240,000 per month, you have to multiply it by 12 because um, we're talking about profitability over a year. Step two, we're going to subtract all debits. And in this case, there's two types of debits. The first type is salesman commission. We have to pay the salesman right off of the top of that money. So we're going to subtract, in this case, 10%. And the second type of debit are our operational costs. They're also called cost center costs. And they're $19,400 $19, per month. So you need to multiply it by 12 so that we're comparing apples to apples. Whatever's left over after we have a positive credit and then subtract any debits, um, is the total profit or loss. If it's positive, they have a profit, and if it's negative, they have a loss. The answer to this problem will be step one, the credits are a positive $240,000 in yearly revenue. The salesmen take $24,000 right off the top. I did that by calculating what is 10% of $240,000. We should already know how to do that by this point in the semester. We've had two lectures on it. If you still need help, please reference from section one of the class, um, the percents lecture, or from section two, the discounts and commissions lecture. In step three, we're going to subtract $232,800 uh, because 19,400 times 12 is 232,800. When you subtract both those values from the credits, we have a negative $16,800 and it's a loss. If you were to enter this, this um, this answer into Canvas for your homework quiz and your regular quiz, the answer would be negative $16,800. Make sure that you put a positive or a negative sign at the beginning. It's your way of indicating to me that you understand that it's a negative, so it's a loss, or it's a positive, so it's a profit.